Hello everyone, my name is Josh and my name is Jay and we want to encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can watch a defined enlightening We've said this the last time We have said this the last time Some of you still have not subscribed Calm down Jay I will not I will not calm down How hard is it? How hard is it? It's just a button It's over here Where? Here What? Who shifted the subscription button? Hold on you see? Be careful, Jay. You see? You see how easy it is? You see how easy it is? It, 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 it doesn't <laughs> Bro, John, you were just so funny. Are you really? <laughs> but you know, hold on, can, can, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Can you handle the feeding of our naming ceremony? <laughs> Bro, John. Yeah. Is it not too early to ask that question? No, it's not too early. I'm, I'm planning ahead already. Oh, that's not a question. For you, brother John, I'll do anything. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Was that why you called me in here? That is it. Wow. Bro John. <laughs> For real? For real. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello there. Do you know someone just volunteered to handle the feeding of our naming ceremony for free? And can you guess who that is? John, I'm spotting. Baby, why now? Why now? At this stage, you should not engage yourself in any sporting activities. No, John, I'm bleeding. What? Bleeding? Okay, I, I, I'm coming right away. I'm coming right away. Damn. Are you okay? John, the doctor said I should observe strict bed rest. I'm scared. It is okay. I don't want to lose this baby. You won't lose this baby. It is a gift of God for us, and He will not take it from us. Whether negative or positive, we will thank God. There is no negativity here. All I see is positivity. Okay? Okay, okay. Don't be scared, Bimi, everything will be fine. Okay. Do you, Mr. Kalijai, take this beautiful, wonderful woman, Mrs. Sarah Kalijai, to be your lawful wedded wife, to have and to owe to death? 
I do. Louder, please. I do. Ah. And you, Mrs. Sarkalajai, take this handsome, good-looking man, made in the image of God, to be your wedded, loveful husband. <sighs> I do. Thank you. Daddy, please, do not leave wedded, please. <laughs> By the power vested in me, your priest, and you now pronounce you as husband or wife. May you now kiss the bride? What? You are waiting. <laughs> waiting for what? Don't worry, my circles. I'm not seeing anything. My friend, I think it's time for you to go and sleep, Jalik. Daddy, please. Go, 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 Jalik. Go, 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 Thank you. For what? For coming back. Well, the the business meeting was postponed, so I decided. You don't need to, to explain. I'm grateful. For a brief moment. I had a flashback of our wedding. <laughs> you kept him waiting for so long at the altar. You and your mates. I wanted to say housemates, you know. <laughs> because by the time you came back, you were all looking like monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> the the makeup parties, the, the, you should collect your money back. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. The makeup parties messed you up, you know. Oh, she gave you, you guys a completely different mask. Oh. You were like, would you do Calabar? <laughs> what? I, I kept staring at you all through the program. I kept looking at you. People were like, maybe this guy is admiring his new bride. <laughs> and then I was, I was confused. Okay. I, was, I was like, so... is she the one? Is she not the one? <laughs> and when the pastor mm. asked if I was ready to take you as my wife, I was so, so scared huh? to say yes. Why? You know, I hesitated for a bit, you know. I was like, I was asking the question the other time, the second time, and I was like, <laughs> do you take an out? Oh my God. Because I, I Why? didn't recognize you, so I was kind of, I'm not going to say yes to another person's wife, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so that oh I will say yes, and then realize uh -huh. that it was you after okay. you might have washed off the, the makeup. But wow. uh, it was... Moiga. Yeah. How did we get here? I don't know. <sighs> Can we ever get out of this mess? Honestly, I don't know. Do you? Do you still love me? I don't know. Baby. <laughs> we lost him. Ah! We lost our baby. <laughs> no. No, 
no, no, no, no. Ah, why, why? It is well. It is well, John. Don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> Baby, I'm sorry I couldn't do it to yesterday. I had to do something for my wife. No, no. I don't love her. It's you that I love, you know. You know now, it's you that I love. I, I just had to do some things. And then I needed to be there for my daughter also. You know, I, I just couldn't disappoint her. Yeah, I just, just put him in that dress there. Mm, it's you that I love. And when all this is over, I'm going to divorce her. You know, we've talked about this. Let's just put you in that dress then. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> Baby, I have missed you. Hey, Chooks. I missed you too. Uh, <laughs> so, when next are we meeting? John, why are you not going to work? Do I have a reason to? You're not happy. Should I? John. See, I have already told the whole world that God has finally answered her prayers. Do I go and tell them that God has taken it back? How do I do that? Jesus was in the boat with the disciples, mm. but that didn't stop the storm from raging. This miscarriage is only a proof that God is still with us in this boat. He will seize the storm. Our baby is not dead. He only went on holiday and is coming back probably with his brother. Twins? We always wanted that, right? Mm -hmm. Our baby is coming back with his brother. This is how we overcome the devil, by the word of our testimony. Be me. Hmm? <laughs> how come? How were you able to recover and become strong again? My help came from the Lord. Thank you. Son is at the gate. Excuse me. Bola. Go and wait for us in the car. Oh. Mom, can I at least... I said go and wait for us in the car. Okay, ma. When did you notice? Yesterday. Be me. Hmm. I know a pastor, a man of God, who is a specialist in ministering to barren women. I'm not barren. I didn't say you are. At least to me, let me see what I want to say. What if... I'm not going there. But, but why are you cutting me off? Mom, I'm not going to see your specialist. He is not just a specialist. He is the general overseer of Let's My People Go ministry. <sighs> and let me tell you something. What is happening with you is not ordinary. It is spiritual. And it must be handled in a spiritual way. This man, this man of God, can break the cause of delay over your life. Delay is not denial. God has told me to wait. And I will not disobey him by following your prophet Moses on one Israelite journey. Who did you say? Did you hear the name of the church? Uh -huh. Let my people go ministry. Exactly. Who should say something? I mean, what is all this? Be me. Be me. Be me. She means well for you. God knows that I made the best for her. Yes. 
Where is your toilet? Inside the right. Grimmy, my Jackie, Kenny, Kogiri, Giri boy, on quand tu bâtis mon Oda, tu fais le combat là, Nicoche, Shogbo. Why would she propose that kind of thing to me at this time? Don't you know your mother? Who she man she ni? If I have children, fine. If I don't have children, fine. The success of my life is not based on how many children I have, but on how many lives I have impacted. She ain't too funny. Funny, sir. She. So, I you I want to so. Ah, what is that? So, call on Joe Bonnie. Ah, uncle. So, boy. Eh? Does that mean that um, we, your parents, our words don't count in your life? Baby, she don't so any. What I'm saying is that I cannot do anything out of God's will for my life. You hear that? My business partners want me to come back so that we can um, finalize the deals of the contract. So I'll be going. Tell them. I'm waiting for your divorce papers. They are all yours. <laughs> Stop the pretense, Boiga. I'm not a fool. Are you okay?
Esther, okay. What are you doing? I'm looking for your attention. Please sit. Not until you tell me what's going on with you. We lost the baby. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Is there anything I can do for you? No, no, no worry. We're fine. No, you're not. Can I offer you something? What? You know, when I was a little girl, I lost my parents in a car accident. My grandmother looked at me and didn't know what to say to me. Sorry was too insignificant and too powerless to fix my broken heart. But she offered me something that fixed me up and made me whole. A simple hug. John, can I, can I offer you a hug? Come on, just a hug. That would be necessary. But I insist. Come on. Come on. Mommy. What's going on here? <laughs> Actually, I was saying, uh, I was trying to. Uh, uh, I was trying to explain to her about the incident that happened last night. And I was trying to comfort him. It's not what you think, he's nothing. I just thought I could be of help. Leave. Explain. <laughs> Our parents died in a car accident. And, and then she said that grandmother hugged her. Then she said that uh, she wanted to hug me. What do you think? John, you just hugged a snake. And very soon, very soon, she'll bite. Ah, Bimi, as in, look, it's, it's not what you think. Like, what really happened was that, you know, as in, what, what I'm trying to say is that. You have nothing to say. So, I am weak. There is no strength in me. The pressure of my childlessness has taken over me. I don't know what to do. Holy Spirit, please help me to submit to your will and not work according to my flesh. You see, the Bible says it gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even the youth get tired. I'm weary. They even stumble and fall. But those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Jesus, please help me. I don't want my emotions to control me. <laughs> you see, the waiting room is not meant to make you weak. It's to strengthen you. But if you discover that you are getting weak, it means you shifted your focus from God to the problem. <laughs> Satan, Satan, I resist you over my marriage. James chapter 4 verse 7. <laughs> Submit yourself therefore to God. <laughs> resist the devil and he will flee. Whenever you find yourself in lack, you sit down there crying. You know, get busy. Face God's work and he will face the lack. You see, waiting itself is a ministry. Don't focus on your lack, John. Focus on his work. 
get busy. You see, he will bring to pass all his promises. And that will come to pass in his own time. I submit my life. I submit my husband. And I submit my marriage to God. <laughs> Satan, I resist you. Devil, I cast you out of my home. You and all your God. I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Let me pray with you. Okay, sir. Father, I thank you for the life of your son, John. Thank you because you have been his strength. Thank you, Lord, for all that has been happening in his life. Be thou exalted, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I commit John unto your hands, that you will strengthen him in the name of Jesus. Satan, I resist you. Get out of my home. Get out of my marriage in the name of Jesus. Uphold him with your mighty hand in the name of Jesus. Strengthen him in the inner man. Let him draw fresh life from you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every weariness, every tiredness in his life in the name of Jesus. I pray that he will mount up with wings as eagles as he waits upon you. That you said in your word that I will strengthen thee and I will help thee. I pray that you will strengthen him and you will help him and make his feet like high feet and make him to walk upon his high places in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Get out of my home in the name of Jesus! <laughs> in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. By the way, John, congratulations. Sir? Yeah, congratulations. Yes, sir. That point, but she was the one okay. that. It's okay. I know. Chooks, thank you so much for these beautiful flowers. Anything for you, my love. And, um... Wow. <laughs> Chooks, how much did you get this? <laughs> Respectfully, my love, <laughs> it is none of your business. <laughs> Tara. Yes? Let's take this relationship to the next level. What do you mean? Take me to your bedroom. I can't. Can you confidently say that there is hope for your husband coming back to you? I can't. Can you say that your husband deserves the respect and honor you give to him? I can't. Then put him in his place and allow me to put you in your own rightful place. Take me to your bedroom, Tara. <sighs> uh, 
I really enjoyed myself. Tara, baby. Get out of my house. What? I said, get out of my house now. After making you feel special and giving you my all, this is what I deserve? On my matrimonial bed? I'm no better than my husband. Get out now. No, Tara. Chooks, please leave. Tara, I said no. I'm going nowhere. I said get out now. I'm going nowhere. No, please get out. You will not be exposed. I just shot my husband cheating on a married woman. Look at them. Look at them. I just caught my husband with a married woman. They've been in this room for hours. Shameless! Shameless, all of you! Shameless! Can you see? Get her! Look at her! This is the woman who has been keeping my husband busy. Look at her! Look at her! Let us see her! Come on! This is this Her husband dream. travels and then you hop into the hands of another man. Her husband travels and she chooses to hop into the hands of another. Can you see her? Jezebel! Will you stop this? Look at him! Will you get this camera off my face? Get, get, get off my face, get off my face. Get, get, get off my face, get off my face. Shameless woman! Mommy! Yes? Mommy! Yes? Mommy! What is it? Mommy, see. What? See, Sister Tara. Sister Tara. Scandal. Oh, no. See. No. Oh, my God! <laughs> John. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Kaleja, my boss's wife. Mm. <sighs> well, where are you going? I have to get there right now. Um, why? I just have to go. <laughs> my daughter! Tara, please open the door. Let's talk about it, please. Let's talk about it. Where is that? This is where we say goodbye. No, no. What please. is she talking about? She's not serious. She can't be serious. Tara, please open this door. Open, open this door. Open this door. I have no more strength to fight. Uh, the game is over. Take care of our daughter. If you kill yourself, I... I won't forgive myself. Tara, please, do you still love me? No! My God. Tara, please, please, no. open the door. Oh. How did we get here? No. No. I'm out of this mess. No! No, wait, no, no. Tara! Please open the door. I need you, please! Please open the door. Please open the door. She, she, she wants to kill us. Ah, is she serious? She, she, she has a knife. Ah, Mrs. Kalejaye. Mami, Mami, Mami. Please don't hurt yourself. I have already done that. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? What, oh, that, 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 what do you mean? What do you mean? Jesus. I, my brother, man, it's my matrimonial bed. Oh, oh, I defiled my marriage. For oh, what? Revenge. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm not better than you, Gwenga. Now, the world will know me. 
Oh, I really am. Oh, no, my God. This is where it all ends. Mrs. Kaleja, where do you want to end the life that God is about to give you a fresh start? You have been trying to hold your family together, but hand over the key to Jesus. I am a mess, baby. Jesus. I never accept a wretch. Me. No, 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 no. Jesus demonstrated his love to us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He has not come to call the righteous to salvation, but sinners. Take that step of faith and drop the knife now. No, 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 baby. No. I can do this. Ah. You can, Mrs. Kaleja, you can. Please. Holding on to that knife is holding on to the lies and deception of the devil. Please drop this knife, please. No, baby, no. I can't face the world. By standing behind Jesus and allowing him to face the world for you. I can't be it anymore. Please, you can. <laughs> Mrs. Kaleja, Jesus can save you. Ah, call on, just call on the name of Jesus. Jesus. Say it louder. Jesus. Say it louder. I'm sorry, I'm being a fool, I'm sorry. 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 i the type capable of killing five unborn babies. What are you talking about? I drove past the school today, and there she was, sitting all alone, crying. So I decided to be the good mummy and picked her up. You lay a finger on my baby girl. Ah. I swear to God, I'm going to deal with you. Who is with my baby girl? Who is with your mother? Please, tell your wife to calm down. She's being too dramatic. I won't touch you, Maddie. I mean, she's so cute and adorable. What do you want, Maggie? Please say. Name your price. What do you want? So you want my price? Yes! She is my price. My Maggie, please. Maggie, please. Please, please don't do this. She replaces the five unborn babies I aborted for you. And now if you involve the police, I will release a dead body to you. Please, please, Maggie. It is done. Please don't do it. Ma Ma Maggie. 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 This is your new home. Am I kidnapped? Oh. Does it look like you are? Can I talk to my mom? Oh. I'm your new mommy. You can tell me anything. Talk to me. Why do you want me? You really want to know? Someone stole something that was rightfully mine, and I've been looking for it. And have you found it? Maybe. Someone stole my friend's notebook two days ago. I prayed for him, and he found it. If I pray for you, Jesus will help you find what you're looking for. But if you take another person's property, you face the consequences of stealing. Can I pray for you? 
<laughs> you can try. Dear Jesus. Answer, please close your eyes. Oh, I prefer them open. Thank you. Dear Jesus. Auntie is looking for what was stolen from her. I don't know it, but you are the all-knowing. I pray you help her find it so that she will release me to my home parents in Jesus' name. Don't worry, Auntie. Jesus will help you find what you are looking for. Just believe in Jesus. Girl, <laughs> I don't think it works that way. Why did you say that? Because Jesus is not a magician. But he's a miracle worker. See, my mom and my dad fight always. And I pray to God to help them love each other. Guess what? What? I conducted their wedding ceremony in our house. You? Yes, but the only thing I told them to do that they did not do is just to kiss each other. I guess that was because you were there. But I closed my eyes. Still, they did not kiss each other. Can you imagine? Sorry about that. It's okay, Auntie. You know, God's ways are not man's ways. Maybe God has another way of bringing them together, you know? <sighs> Do I know? No, wait. Girl! You do know you're kidnapped, right? You're not even crying. Jesus is with me. Why should I cry? Oh. What? Auntie, please, what's your name? Uh, uh, you, you can call me Maggie. Nice meeting you, Auntie Maggie. What kind of girl are you? The Jesus kind of girl. Uh, oh, I, I see. Don't you come near me, okay? Get away from me. Stay away from me. What, 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 what kind of girl is this? What, what, what's this? What, what is this? Stay away, okay? Stay away. It is well. It is well. <laughs> My God, let's call the police. She, she said, she said, if we call the police, she's dead. She's dead. <laughs> so what are we going to do now? I think the only thing we can do now is just to pray and to hope. So let us pray for us. Okay. Okay. Please help us. Please, please pray for us. Please pray for us. Let's pray. Let's pray. Okay. Let's pray. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you because she's coming back home. Amen. Thank you because you are restoring this home. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. That's it? That's it. What kind of prayer is that? The Holy Spirit has assured me that she's coming home. <laughs> but when? The Holy Spirit? Yes. He says he wants to prove a point to you. What point? In the Bible, there was a parable of two houses. Mm -hmm. One house was built on the rock. The wind came. The flood came. The storm hit. But this house was still standing. There was another house built on the sand. The wind came, the flood came, the storm hit, but it came crumbling down. Now these two houses have one similarity, that the same storm hit them. But at the same time, one stood and one fell. Jesus is the rock of ages. And he can fix your home. And he can restore your life. <laughs> Can he still fix this? Can, he, can Jesus still fix this? Yes. If you surrender to him, he can. I want to. 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 
<laughs> Let's pray together. Let's join hands and pray together. Please breathe after me. Okay. Lord Jesus. Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. I know that you died for me. I know, I know that you died, died for me. me. Please forgive me of all my sins. Please forgive me of all my sins. And be my Lord and Savior. Be my Lord. Jesus, please fix my life. Jesus, please fix my life. Fix this prayer. In Jesus' name. I stand to tell you today that you don't have a normal child. I wish she was mine. She managed to convince me to let go of the hearts that you have inflicted on me. How she did that, I don't know. But like I said earlier, <laughs> she's not normal. I have returned her to you so you can go back and fix what is broken in your home. Take care of her and let her know that Auntie Maggie loves her too. Brother John. How may I be of help? I have always admired you for a very long time. I love you. And I want to have you. You can't have me. What do you mean? I'm a married man. You can't have me. I can't do such. I can. And I will. I want you, John. Sister Buki, please, don't do this. Ha, Sister Buki, stop it, though. Sister Buki, eh? In the name of Jesus, cover the blood of Jesus. John, John, pick up, please pick up. Hey, pick up, pick up, pick up. Oh, oh God, no, no, he's not picking, he's not picking. Hey, John, I cover you the blood of Jesus. I cancel that dream in the name of Jesus. Sister Buki, how are you? No one is in the office. Why are you working at Let Us? Yeah, I need to clear some documents and send some mails before I leave. Oh, okay. Yeah, so what can I do for you? What I've always wanted you to do, John. I'm afraid I don't understand. What do you mean? Let's make it simpler. Okay. I want you. I speak concerning your life, John, in the name of Jesus, that the Lord is your light and your salvation. Whom shall you fear? The Lord is the strength of your life. Whom shall you be afraid? When the wicked, yes, even your enemies and your foes come up against you, they shall stumble and fall. Concerning you, I decree your life, my husband, that your enemies stumble and fall. In the name of the Lord Jesus. What do you mean? You cannot want me. I am married. Your wife doesn't have to know about this. God forbid. Ha! Give me the keys. Can I have the keys? I'm <laughs> out. Ha! My Yekete Lerebo Shadaba, I decree concerning you that door and host should encamp against you. Your heart shall not fear. No war rise against you. In this you are confident. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide you in his pavilion, in the secret place 
of the Lord shall you be hidden. He shall set you upon a rock. John, I decree concerning you that the Lord will hide you in his pavilion. He will keep you safe. He will protect you. He will shield you in the name of Jesus. In the time of trouble, you are safe. In the name of Jesus. Somebody help me. What's happening here? Bro bro brother, if please. you shout, I will tear my clothes and scream rape. Ha! Sister Buki! I'm hmm. not your sister. Ha! Buki! Where have God been all these years that I've been suffering in loneliness? I have this too. I need a man like you. Ha! Go will give you your husband. Hmm, Sister Buki, the Holy Spirit is enough for you. Just lean on him. Hey, what? I mean, who am I even canceling? Hey, who is there? Who will help me? Don't there? hear me. <laughs> you don't want to try me. Ha! Huh. I know what to do. Hear, oh Lord, when John cries, when he raises his voice, have mercy upon him and answer him. Oh Lord God, hide not your face from him. Put not your servant away in anger. Oh Lord, thou hast been his help. Leave him not, forsake him not. Oh God of his salvation, I decree this concerning my husband, that you will hear him in the day of trouble. You will hide not your face from him. You will forsake him not, oh God. Let us save him, Jesus. Save him from this tribulation in the name of the Lord Jesus. <sighs> Holy Spirit, help me. Holy Spirit, help me. Holy Spirit, help me. Don't be so spiritual on me, John. There's no one to help you here. No Holy Spirit. Not even your wife. Thou shalt help him, O oh Lord. Thou shalt not leave him, O oh Lord. Thou shalt not let him alone, O oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mayata Lushekete Lazakata Bosha Erakuta Yadaba. Have mercy upon my husband, O oh God. Ha! Ha! Ah. Psalm 34, verse 17. The righteous cried, and the Lord heareth him from heaven and delivereth him from all his troubles. Move back. Look, if you come close to me, I will go to Instagram Live. I'm on Instagram Live. I'm, Pastor, please. And I'm going to tell the whole world that you are trying to force yourself on me. I'm so sorry. I am not walk him over me. I I'm so sorry, Pastor. Please. Get out! This is the work of the devil. I'm so sorry. Out! Jesus! Ah. Ah. My God! Ah. 50 missed calls. 50 missed calls, baby. Hey, boy, shit. Let's say, ha. Oh, God. Praise God. Praise God. Hello? Hello, baby. Can you imagine what just happened now? What? A snake crawled right into my office just now. A snake? A snake? Did, did you kill it? No, she escaped. But if I ever set my eyes on her again in this office, she will regret it. Huh? Ha. Ah. It is Sister Buki, the green snake under the green grass. John, just come home. Please just come home. There's a lot I have to tell you. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <sighs> Holy Spirit, thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now it's time for questions and answers. And I appeal that you make your question as direct as possible. You know, like the other day that a lady came here, instead of asking questions, she started sharing testimonies. <laughs> it's not funny. But please, today, Let's face questions. At a later time, we shall address testimonies. God bless you. Now to the first question. It says, I have waited on the Lord for so long and he has refused to answer me. What do I do? That don't reveals the mind of someone is fed up. But you see my brother and sisters, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wing like the eagles. They shall walk and not grow weary. They shall run and not faint. You see brethren, one of the tactics of the devil is to use worry and anxiety to kick us out of God's waiting room. And that's why the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, it says, 
that be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication and thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God brethren the waiting room is not an easy room but it is a rewarding room do you believe me? Yes, sir. it's a rewarding room I Bro John, standing here with you, I was a PhD holder in worry and anxiety. <laughs> yes, that is it. You see, um, worry has only one benefit. And the only benefit of worry is to separate us from God. Uh, and the Bible says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. It's my prayer. That for those of us seated here that are in the waiting room of God with me, that God will answer our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. It is sounding amen. Amen. To the next question without wasting our time. It says, Bro John, I am Greg. Huh? <clears throat> Brethren, yes, sir. wonderful children of the Most High God. Yes, sir. You see, <laughs> I mean, you know, what I'm trying to say, can we share the grace? No, BT <laughs> Babo. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.